Hey, 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 so we just got home from Ikea. It was a little bit of an impulse trip. I definitely did not plan when I woke up this morning to go to Ikea, but I want to clean and tidy most of my house. It's time for another deep clean. And my library is covered in books. There's books everywhere. And last week I spent a good hour looking for a bookshelf to buy. I found one. I couldn't get it unless I drove for like two hours to pick it up and they wouldn't deliver to my house. So this morning when I wanted to tidy, I essentially just snapped. And we have got four new bookshelves. These three here are all DVD shelves. The shelves that I have all my paperback books on down in the library are also all DVD shelves. These are the I can't remember what they're called, but they're from Ikea. And they have adjustable shelves, so I'm gonna be making these into paperback shelves. And then I got my first ever Billy bookshelf. I don't have any Billies, so this is my first one. And it is going to be one of the long and thinner ones. And they're all, I think, these three little ones going in my bedroom. And this one is going in the spare bedroom. And I also picked up this palm because I've had this basket here. Up here on the landing for ages waiting for a plant to go in it and no plant. So um, I picked up a massive palm from Ikea as well. But I need to make dinner at some point. And I also have the Buffy watch long starting at 7. It is currently 25 past 5. And I need to assemble all of these bookshelves. So I have no idea what I'm doing or what order I'm doing it in. But um, I'm going to be a busy bee this evening. Is it? Say hello. Oh, bye bye. They gathered by the sea, sand people anxiously. Not once did speak to me. When tides came, did not flee. Spoke the same, had the same dream, same pain and same feelings. Staring at the sea, you know, it's much later in the evening now. It is going on for 10 pm, and I am currently in the middle of the Buffy watch along. But in between the episodes, I've been running up and working on the shelves. So Curtis assembled like all of the bodies of them, and then I put the actual shelving in to make them the sizes that I want. So we have these three here, which are in the landing. I was actually originally gonna put at least two of these in my bedroom, but they look like they just fit so well. There, let me turn around. They fit kind of perfectly, and even though we have a narrow hall, they still kind of work. The only problem with them is if we need to move any furniture around or anything, then like if we need to bring anything upstairs which we will because i haven't done anything with the spare bedroom yet and i also have not done anything with my bedroom i keep saying i'm gonna do it and then i take on other projects to avoid doing it because it's the biggest room in the house and it seems like a huge daunting task but if we move any furniture up then the bookshelves are gonna have to be moved but i'm really happy with how they look and i'm going to be when i finish the last episode for the buffy watch long for tonight i'm going to come and Get some books on these i think i'm moving all of my fantasy romance up here and also my regular romance just anything romantic for no particular reason other than i think all of the indies especially will look really good together and then i guess my reason for the normal romances is that they tend to be very brightly colored and my shelves downstairs which are majorly fantasy don't have a whole ton of color in so i feel like the romance kind of throws it off a bit but we'll see because with all of the indies being up here they tend to have darker spines so it may have the same effect up here as well but we have a couple of different sizes of shelves in here we have ones that fit the larger indie paperbacks but then i couldn't get all of them that size and still have like all working shelves so we have some that are the perfect size for smaller paperbacks as well. And then in the spare bedroom, which once again, this was not really where I intended to put this, I wanted to put this bookcase on the landing, but because I've left those three on the landing, I've decided to put that one in here. I mean, there's literally no furniture in here apart from a bed. So I put the billy here. It's worked out, I did buy an extra shelf for the billy in case I needed it, but it's worked out so that we have two this size and then one slightly larger one that's more cube shaped and the same down here so we have one larger one and two smaller and I think 
I may move a whole ton of special editions up here and that is once again perfect size for a hardback. I don't like a whole ton of space on my bookshelves so I'm probably going to be dragging these to the front as well instead of pushing them way back I mean we'll see if I need to move any trinkets up here but um I like my books to look pretty much like that which is why I prefer DVD shells for paperback because they are literally the perfect size and when you put them in and push them all the way back like that one's slightly bigger so it doesn't count but you only have a tiny bit of space here that's a normal paperback so you have just this tiny little bit and it like fills the space and that's how I prefer it so I'm gonna go and watch that episode of Buffy which is gonna be starting very soon so I need to hurry up and then we're gonna start dragging books up I have already I've got a small stack those are all of my I think they're all KJ Sutton and Laura Thalassa but I'm gonna go through get all of my indies and get those on and then see what the library's looking like and whether we're adding more stuff on there I don't really know we're just gonna see what happens it's gonna be 11 p.m. when I'm doing it but that's what's going on <laughs> romance this is all of my indie fantasy romances we also have just like my general romance which I don't actually have that much of and I was gonna say I thought I got everything but we have Chloe Brown down here Coho of course the romance book club um but the heart principle is somewhere hey ham hello precious how can I miss the spine on that book can you move your bum please thank you oh it's down there and I realized that um the kiss question isn't here, so I've definitely left something behind. But um, yeah, we have the indie fan row, traditionally published fan row and paranormal, and the standard, like, contemporary romance. I do know that I've left my Sucky Stackhouse books downstairs, so not quite everything is here, but I really did not know that I owned this much romance. I am shocked. Um, but now I'm gonna try and get them onto the shelves. So, wish me luck. these shelves are now done there are a lot of empty spaces in them Hamilton is being so annoying he's down here and he's not allowed in the attic get down but he's gonna keep trying but there's a lot of empty spaces in here I've kind of done almost alphabetically but I've kept all of the series and stuff together so we have Jennifer L. Armentrout here Amanda Boucher is there I put Huang and Hibbert together because they fit and the names start with the same letter all of my Colleen Hoover's there I've kept some of them separate just to fill it out because like ideally shelves should be bottom loaded first but we have a ton of empty space down there. I am going to put some things in like I have some small plants and because this room is white this is a south facing window and so is the one in the bathroom so the light comes through here bounces off the white walls so this is quite like a bright landing considering it's so enclosed. I might put some plants like on top and maybe a couple of tiny ones like I've got lots of tiny spider plants in the cubbies but this one is done and now I have to go fill the washing basket again with hardbacks this time. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the Billy bookshelf. 
I'll see when I get downstairs. I think I'm gonna put duplicate special editions up here. So like my extra copies of Empire of the Vampire. And also because I started getting the Goldsboro Fantasy Sci-Fi Fellowship book subscription. I think I'm gonna put all my Goldsboro books up here as well. Because there's no like, I don't have space to present them all together as like a kind of collection downstairs. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of see what's happening when I actually get down there. And can kind of try and section things off a bit. I guess Hamilton is trying to get up again, so I'm gonna go deal with it. Okay, I think I'm done. I didn't do any filming of me putting the books on these shelves because um, honestly, it didn't actually take too long. And also just like with where the bookshelf is, because I've wedged it right into the corner. It's just not, it's not a great angle for filming. Not that that was. So I don't know why I'm using that as an excuse, but we have plenty of space on this one as well. I have not been down to the library and put all of the remaining books that I've left down there that were in stacks onto the shelves in the spaces that I've made. I'm going to do that tomorrow because I don't even know what time is it. It's 12.15 like past midnight and um, I'm a sleepy girl. So more could come up here, but this is what we have so far. Up here, this is one of the awkwardly sized ones. So this has all of my like extra short hardbacks on there as more downstairs. But honestly, can we have a consistent size for short hardbacks? Cause this is a hot mess. Like those three up there are the really, really tiny ones. So if I take, oh my God, I nearly fell off the bed, but it's like, it's shorter. Can you guys see? So I brought a few too many short ones upstairs. So those three are up there. And then here we have a whole ton of Kristoff. I do have duplicates of Dark Dawn as well. So I brought one of those up. And I have my Goldsboro, Illumicrate, and Forbidden Planet versions. So these are not my reading copies. Those are all like the more special editions. And then my one GSFF book that I have so far. As I get more of these, I will separate them. So it'll be all GSFF and these will have the separate shelf. On this one, we have a Lumicrate. Once again, not all of my Lumicrates. These are just the excess ones that were lying around that I didn't have a home for. And further down, we have Fairy Loot. Once again, not all of my Fairy Loot. And we also have all of the Book of the Month books that I got for the sponsorship that I did this month, apart from the X-Hex, because I've read that and that is in my wrap-up pile. And then at the bottom here, these are all of my arcs, I think. Aside from The Last Graduate, because I haven't, great. <laughs> I haven't got a final copy of that one yet, I will soon. But aside from that one, I have finished copies of all of these. So once I've read the arc as an early copy, I don't need to keep these with the rest of my books. The one exception to that rule, of course, is um, Crescent City which is my most prized possession and is with the rest of my Sarah J Mass books. So yeah, today, I went all the way to Ikea, it's like 80 minutes away from me. Bought four bookshelves, had Curtis assemble four bookshelves, and have now just half filled four bookshelves, but look at all of the space that I have for books. Not that this hasn't changed my attitude towards buying books, like I'm still not, I'm not gonna go overboard or anything, but having books has been a source of anxiety or like collecting books. Having books come to me has been a source of anxiety for a couple of months because I had absolutely nowhere to put them. I think I had five stacks of books on the floor until I've sorted all of this out. Downstairs, I'm gonna have space on my paperback shelf because I don't have enough paperbacks. Like I don't have as many paperbacks in stacks as I've put on that shelf. So I'm definitely gonna have some space down there. And then the few hardbacks that I have left that I haven't brought up here. There are now slots available. Like some of the cases are still gonna look a bit messy because I slot some things in just wherever they'll fit, even though generally my rule is to have things quite alphabetical. They will all at least have a home, which is great. So tomorrow I'm going to, I have to go into town because Curtis needs some new shoes. After that, I'm going to work on finishing up the library, which I'm, real excited about because it's been a while since that room has not just been full of books. I mean, it's a library. It's still going to be full of books, but I'm like excessively full of books where like there's just books everywhere and it's not a good time. I left my phone at my brother's place. It's not my fault. Don't walk away because I don't quite know what you're running from. Cause all my friends they think I'm fun You take yourself too seriously I, 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 I Don't wanna hear you say we waste our time I'm Cause you're the one who's going home To be all alone Watching cooking shows You 
So that is successfully all of my books on the shelves and off the floor. I do have space for new books, which I feel is novelty. I have gaps all throughout these shelves. I normally close the gaps, but I think I'm gonna leave them for now because I think there's one down here as well. Yeah, there's one in that corner. But I think I'm gonna be leaving the gaps for a while because I'm not filming in front of these shelves at the minute. So it doesn't matter too much that they're all gappy. I do have like this is an arc. It needs to go upstairs with the rest of the arcs. And also I have this stack here, which is waiting for Ryan, who I'm gonna see next week, to go through it and decide what he wants. And then I can take the rest of the books to the charity shop and that is it. I have a stack of subscription boxes there that I need to break down and recycle and then clean in. And I've done it. I fixed the library problem. Finally, and I feel so relieved. I left my keys at my cousin's house. He says I need to leave you cause you're bringing me down. And you're all worked up cause I got home late. You hold this night against me till 3008. You take Morning. All of the shelves are done. All of the books are off the floor. We are now on to cleaning the library. So I am going to expose myself and show you what we're working with. It doesn't look as bad because I did break down all the subscription boxes earlier while I was waiting for video stuff to export. So this is what we are working with. We're not looking too shabby at the minute. That can we can't do anything about that that is a box of stuff that i need to send to ashley just bits we still have two books on the floor i do need to find homes for those just little bits of like papery things that have ended up on the floor a small handful of things that arrived in my last batch of subscription boxes that i need to put away this quarter i guess is subscription of my deodorant um that mug is not dirty i'm not that much of a tramp that one is the one that ash got me last week i put my makeup on down here and i don't have anywhere to put it so i kind of want a basket for that this is just like a whole whole mess i keep subscription boxes like one of every subscription box i've ever worked with so those boxes i will keep on whole stack can't do anything about just bits bits everywhere and then let me see can i show you a level of dust here so let's see what my dust level is like at the minute it's not actually oh yeah so we gotta do some wiping down as well also I should probably show you this side of the room all of this is fine apart from wiping my desk area um is a little messy and i know that this looks messy but i use those blankets when i'm editing and i have just been editing so um that's fine but all of the surface needs like cleaning tidying
I've been missing your smile You should come and stay a while Fly a couple miles Let's go out tonight Oh, you've been running through my mind all day Yeah, you give me everything I need Oh, anytime you need me there I'll stay I promise it's just you but the library is clean and I am very very happy with it so let's have a little look at what we're dealing with now so we have oh we have Hamilton trying to get in come on bro but we got all of the gappy shells still gappy like I said deal with that whenever the unhole pile needs to go but I have cleaned all of the shelving this corner still a mess will always be a mess because this is where i throw loads of random things like i have a stack of boxes there i need to sort my makeup goes there that's just random bits and this shelf is my shelf of shame like i hardly ever show this shelf because it is just like really miscellaneous i added this little Ouija resin hanging thing that I got from Jesse Shop, link in description. Rearranged, retidied all of the sofa. I've watered a couple of my plants as well. Cleaned all of these shelves, sorted out the floor, got those two hardbacks onto shelves. This has just had a little bit of a dust. Clean the mirror, desk area all super tidy and organized. I've hung the blankets up for now as well so that I could hoover these shelves just don't talk to me about these shelves and then i do need to do a little rearrange of this tower here which has my paper for postage labels and also my paper for candle labels and then i need to sort out this top bit and those are all my invoices for this year which i've just bought a binder for and i need to put them all in the binder so that at the end of the year they can go in there with my past invoices and this plant i can turn this back around now i was just giving it a bit of light on a different side but yeah Let's do a view from far away. Lovely empty floor, nothing on it but a cat. And this is um, baby Ham, who is Ham's favorite toy. They're bestest friends. And then if we come this way, also have a beautiful clean library over here as well. That is the tripod I've been using for filming, so that will fall down and go over into that corner later. But yeah, that is it. The new bookshelves are up and sorted. The old bookshelves are organized. No more books on the floor, library clean. I do hope you have enjoyed this little vlog that I never intended to make. If you did, please don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you're a go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no